Hello everybody, this is Dreaming we're back to kick off round two for group A. Yes, we're getting into the thick of it now. And we have three more lovely matches for group A here. Starting off with Michaela going up against Yamazamadu. And then the big one in this group, Ghidorah taking on the host Stranger. Then, Cerno Strongest Theory going up against Engineer Gaming. Three matches that can definitely shake up group A. Actually, yeah, it could because all of these guys are playing all of these guys so if all of these guys win then group a completely changes but yep yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes so let's get started starting off with Michaela taking on Yamazanadu well this is going to be interesting in the red corner for Michaela we have Lex over Saurus Michaela had a good start against engineer gaming but then kind of faltered away towards the end which cost them but they definitely started strong in the blue corner, however, for Yamazanadu, we have Gojirasaurus. Yamazanadu snaps, smash and grab in the first matchup result there. And to be honest, was getting completely dominated until the death fire happened. Well, they need death fire to bail themselves out of this mess. We'll just have to see. But yeah, Yam I like the look of them, but they did get really lucky with the death fire. <laughs> Against a 75% stranger, and they, they managed to win. 100% stranger, and I would have won easy. Ooh, Lexovasaurus getting off the first hit there. The key for Michaela is if they get that death fire triggered while, she, while she's got two dinos left, then I think she'll win this match. It is the fact that the death fire is in third. Like, that is the key bit. Everyone else, except for Zaylos with the Black T Rex, has the death fire in like first or second. But Yamazanadu has it in third, which is absolutely lethal. There's the attack boost from the Gojirasaurus though, but the Lexovasaurus has given Michaela a slight lead. Ooh, but that lead is about to be dissipated. Gojirasaurus getting off the crit there. Prog well, should get off a jet shuriken. Wow, it doesn't. Well, Yamazana do use the, all their luck in the first match. That's why it's probably getting them this match. Ooh, Lexovasaurus getting off a hit. Kayla fearing well there. There's the Earth Barrier, which will definitely help. I mean, the Gojirasaurus will need to get off two hits to kill Lexovasaurus. Ooh, but it can't get any hits so far. Lexovasaurus clawing away at Gojirasaurus there, but it really needs a crit, to be honest. Well, speaking of crits, Gojirasaurus gets off that crit. I think a Jet Shuriken might actually be lethal, but wow! Three hits and it doesn't get off a Jet Shuriken. That is shocking. That could prove costly. Well, it is going to prove costly, because even one Jet Shuriken and this Lexovasaurus would have been dead. But there we go. As for Yamazanadu's second dino, we have a Super Talarotus. Just double checking the awaken mode, and it's on three. And it'll be free for the Eocark as well. Well, it's kind of a kind of a mirage of the first matchup the Amazana do had, where they were falling behind, but they weren't too far behind. Can they get the hit they got last time? The answer to that is no. Lex Oversaurus getting off another hit. Although, a saving grace is that they won't have to worry about the Quake Saber because Lexovasaurus will probably not survive a tie. Or maybe it will. But we're about to find out. And nope, it will not survive a tie. Yamazanadu, even in the score. Alrighty then, as for Michaela's second dino, we have a Giganonosaurus. Michaela looking very impressive so far, but this is kind of where it faltered for her last time. Where Engineer Gaming was able to turn the screw, so can Yamazana do, turn, do the same, or can Michaela keep up the pressure? Ooh, that's a tie. Quake save has been triggered from the, um, Talororas. Another tie. Ooh, the Talarurus getting the hit. It's an attack boost. Okay, that's twice, so next round will be the Awaken mode. 
Not, not this one, the one after. If Tala Royce can survive. Here's a tie. This is actually a close match. Oh, it's not going to survive. It's not going to get off the Awaken mode. Instead, the Magma Blaster is going to come in and decimate the Talaruras and give Michaela a 2-1 lead. But don't count Yamazana do out yet because they have the Death Fire. And that changes everything. Of course, if Michaela can get that Death Fire triggered with the Giga still alive, then it's Michaela for the win. Like, that death fire is going to be key for everything. Of course, the Amazandu may not even get the hit when the death fire gets triggered, so... But why take a chance, eh? Why take a chance? Oh, that's a tie. Heat eruptions can come in. That could be just what Yamazanadu needs. If they can kill this Giga with the Eokark without getting death fire triggered, then yeah, it's all on. And yeah, it's been an even match. Michaela has been leading, though. For, most, for pretty much all of them. But it hasn't been a big lead. Okay, this heat eruption should finish it off. Yeah. The Giga's gone down. And look at this. It all comes down to this. Both of our combatants have the Awaken mode. Michaela on three. As is Yamazan. Okay, as for Michaela's third dino, as you can see, is a Super Taurosaurus. Oh, so this is a really tight match. Like, this could end in a draw, but I don't think it will because of Deathfire. But yes, that death fire gives Yamazana do the edge here. But they gotta get it triggered first. Oh, it's a tie. Ties favor the Eokark more because of the heat eruption. Uh oh. Pause. The random number generator is having a funny five minutes. Alright, we got a new plan. Internet's decided to die. So we're gonna use a new random number generator, which is basically random number generator, but I downloaded an app. So yes, we will continue where we left off. Okay, so that's Skizzers. And that's Rock. So Eocarcaria is going to get the hit here. So yeah, sorry about that. But, you know, can't do nothing about the internet if it's not working, can I? Okay, that's once. Ooh, the Taurosaur is getting off a Gatlin Spark. Will Deathfire get triggered? I don't think I'll get triggered until the Fire Dinosaur's health is, like, really low. Twice, ooh. Oh my god, look at this. This is insane. Oh, I think that's Yokakaria dead. Taurosaurus. Oh my god, it, did, it killed him with a lightning axe. Oh my god, the Taurosaurus killed him with a lightning axe. What a well-timed lightning axe there from Michaela. And a, a well-deserved win, I might add. Um, I didn't pay attention to Taurosaurus's health, so I'm not sure if it was below half. If it is, then Yamazana do will get a losing bonus point. But what a win for Michaela. I'd say a deserved win in the end. I think they just about edged it out. But now, it's finally time for the big one. The one I've been waiting for for a while. It's time for Ghidorah to take on the host, Stranger Gamer. Alrighty then, I fixed the random number generator so it's generating like normal. But in the red corner for Ghidorah, we have a Shantungasaurus. This Shant is quite the powerhouse as you can see here. That super impact can do a crap ton of damage. His other two moves, not so much. Especially when in the blue corner for our host, we have a Mega Raptor. This Mega Raptor will have the type advantage over the Shant. So, as long as it avoids getting hit by that crit, the Mega Raptor will be in a good position to get an early lead. To give Stranger an early lead. But what I really love is a Tornado Toss or a Scissors to get that crit block going. But I'm not really worried about the Shant too much. I, my biggest worry is the Spino. Like, that's the big threat for me. Like, Eokarkiria's Eokarkiria is always a threat. Oh, Ghidorah gets the first hit. But yeah, look at this. No damage at all. Like, I could probably tank another 10 of those and still be alive. Oh, but this is going to do damage. It's a tornado toss. Big damage coming Shantungasaurus's way. This is going to do damage. 
Like, I wish it was lethal type, but you know. Look at that! One hit, the shant has taken a battery. Ooh, but the shank does get a much needed hit there, but again, not much damage and no nature's blessing. Mega Raptor getting a hit there. I think this shant is not going. Yes, it is going to die. Stranger has a 1 0 lead, but here's the MVP for Team Ghidorah. The big threat here, the Spinosaurus. I only say it's a big threat based on the last time you saw it, and it absolutely annihilated Cerno's team. Even though it had no moves, and having no super moves seems to have paid off handsomely. Oh, that's a tie. Ties will favour the Mega Raptor, though. Although, I'm hoping all the ties happen when my camera comes in. Oh, come on, couldn't this be the camera? Get Ocean Panic off then. <laughs> Getting all the ties out the way here. Ooh, the Spino gets the first hit. It won't kill, well, it shouldn't kill the Mega Raptor. No, but it does get the attack boost going. Ooh, but the Mega Raptor strikes back. Will Cyclone get triggered? No, it will not. Could have done with it, though. Oh, it's disaster for the Spino! It's a crit block and a tornado toss. Stranger's gonna have a 2-0 lead. Oh, it's disaster for Ghidorah here. The MVP, the big threat of the team, the Spinosaurus is gone. And a crit block for overkills. But here's a real heavyweight though. The Eocarcaria, the Super Eocarcaria. The Awaker mode on free, and I think Ghidorah's gonna need it. I wouldn't count Ghidorah out yet, though. This Eocarcaria does pack a punch. And it does have the type advantage over the Mega Raptor, so... I fully expect Ghidorah to get 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 one back. Although, <laughs> given what happened last time, I would love a free no win over him, but... I'll take what I can. Oh, that's a tie. Ties will help the Mega Raptor weigh the Eocarcaria down. Oh, the Mega Raptor is doing so well. But yeah, there it is. The Eocarcaria taking out the Mega Raptor. Ghidorah getting back in this match. But now it's got a tight disadvantage to deal with. And it's got to get past the wild card of Team Stranger, the, the Kamarasaurus. Well, this beast was devastating in the first matchup against Yamazanadu. And would have been absolutely immensely devastating if it got off the ocean panic while the Eocarcaria came in. This Kamarasaurus is not to be underestimated, and it does have the type advantage over the Eocarc, so Ghidorah not out of the woods yet. Oh, it's a tie! There's the ocean panic! I think Stranger's on course to win this match and get some sweet revenge on Ghidorah. Oh, no MP though. Could be a get out of jail free card there for Ghidorah. Okay, that's once. Oh, but the camera gets there. Look at this from Stranger. Complete control. Eocarcari on the brink of dying. And there it is. The bonus point win. A bonus point win for our host. And you've got to say they deserve that. The Mega Raptor proving key. And the Kamarasaurus finishing up. Well, that was that was just more like it. A bonus point win for our tournament host. Skyrockets him to the top of Group A. Well, that was in, in exciting, isn't it? I, I was... I was expecting much more of a fight from Ghidorah, though. I thought it would be a lot closer than that. But, yeah. He... I'd say probably got unlucky with a Spino. If a Spino got off a few more hits, might have come back into it. But, yeah. 
a tournament oath getting some sweet revenge. Right then. Well, I need, I need to cool down after that matchup. But we got one more matchup to go before we end this session, and that sees Cerno Strongest Theory taking on Engineer Gaming. Alrighty then. In the red corner for Cerno Strongest Theory, we have a Destructus Bondolus. Uh, yeah, this Destructus Bondolus was um, fairly decent in, the in its opening matchup against, against Ghidorah. Although it did have a type, of, it did have a type advantage in that matchup. But this time. It's not going to be of a type advantage, it's going to have a type disadvantage against this Acrocanthosaurus of Engineer Gaming. Engineer Gaming starting their campaign with a win. And given, given the first two results, a win for Engineer Gaming will put them top. And it will mean they're the, they're the only combatant in Group A with a 100% record so far. So a good incentive for Engineer Gaming here to get, a, to get another win. Ooh, but that's not the start you would have wanted, though. The Extractor Spondle is getting the first hit, and here comes a Cyclone. Ooh, but Engineer Gaming getting the crit there from the Acro. Look at that, decent damage. Would have been a lot more if it was Burning Dash. Oh, that's a tie. Speaking of Burning Dash, it's going to get triggered. Ooh, but the youth struck the Spondylus getting a hit. And the recovery's incoming. This hit won't do too much damage to the Acro, but the recovery will heal up the youth struck the Spondylus by quite a lot. This is a good start from Cerno so far. Of course, Engineer Gaming was quite the slow start the last time. Oh, it's a Burning Dash. Well, his Burning Dash would have killed the struck the Spondylus, but I think it's going to survive because of the recovery. Oh, oh, bad glitch there, badness. Oh, look at that! Only just survived, I tell you what. That Acro did some major damage. Oh, and the tie will finish off the strip the Spondless. And no surprise here that Engineer Gaming has a 1 0 lead. Alrighty then, as for Cerno's second dino, we have a Mini King. A uh, Mini King kind of did okay against. Ghidorah, he kind of sucked though. But it's going to need to pull Cerno back into this match as the Acro does has given Engineer Gaming the lead. Engineer Gaming with the incentive of going top, I believe two points clear. Well, one point clear at the minute. If they get a normal win, they get a bonus point win, they can go two points clear. Ooh, another hit from the Acro here. Engineer Gaming extending their lead. Ooh, and a Flare Sword as well. That will definitely help. Oh, the, and the, it will definitely not help my FPS glitchy soundness. But look at this, Engineer Gaming on the brink of a 2-0 lead. Ooh, but he's not going to get it. Instead, Mini King's going to get off the Happy Pudding here. Didn't heal it up as much as I thought it would last time. Yeah, only a tiny bit. I think they might have gone for food. Oh, wrong, but it's a tag team! Oh, the tag team coming in to save the Acro from getting hit. Ooh, that's a tie. But the burning dash has already been triggered. Oh, it's another tie. Can Mini King finish off this Acro? Or can Engineer Gaming get a 2-0 lead? The answer is, it's Final Thunder time, which means that Cerno is going to get back in this match. <laughs> I, I forget if I, I got to control Final Thunder. Okay, well it doesn't matter now, the Acro's dead. So even if I butcher this, which I haven't, the Acro was going to die anyway. But here we go, Final Thunder coming. Man, the quality looks really good for Final Thunder. Zippy zap zap zap. Acrocanthosaurus biting the big one, but Mini King did take a severe beating and now has a tight disadvantage against this Panoplosaurus. Panoplosaurus was quite effective for Engineer Gaming in his, in his last matchup. They enabled him to turn the screw against Michaela, and I suspect well, he, it may turn the screw for, in his favour again.
Well, here's the Earthquake. Mini King biting the big one. It did take out the Acro, but Engineer Gaming still has a decent lead and looks set to win this matchup. Alrighty then, as for Cerno's third Dino, we have a Kralophosaurus. Uh, well, didn't really see what it can do in its first matchup, so it died relatively quick. But Cerno's going to need it to pull its weight here if they want to get back in this match. Oh, that's a six. Oh, but not the Soros getting off the spike arrows. Is it happening again for Cerno? Can Engineer Gaming close this out? Oh, I think that's it. I think that's going to be it. Oh, it's not. But Engineer Gaming looking set for a bonus point. Ooh, or maybe not. The cryo getting a hit at the glass. And the recovery to come as well. Oh, he healed it up a little bit. Not enough to survive a hit, but you know, better than nothing. Oh, it's a spike arrow! Oh, the Panoplosaurus getting off a light recovery. I think with this type advantage, I think the cryo might just survive this. Oh, maybe not. Well, life recovery coming in, and it's a bonus point win for Engineer Gaming, and that will take him top of Group A. Well, Group A is definitely shaken up, isn't it? So, let's have a look at the table, and then we can end the session. Well, Group A is definitely shaken up, isn't it? We have Engineer Gaming up top with seven points. Two points clear of our host, Stranger Gamer, in second, getting a big bonus point win over Ghidorah who's currently sitting in third on four points. And then we have Michaela and Yamazana do stuck on, still on three points there. Michaela finally getting off the mark in her, in her campaign. And then poor Cerno Strongest Fairy at the rear and the bottom. And looks like it's going to be a tough road ahead for them. And let's see who they got next. Ooh, it's going to be a big game against Michaela next for Cerno. And then we will see Yamazama do taking on Ghidorah. That's going to be tough for Ghidorah there to get back to winning ways. And then it's a clash at the top between Engineer Gaming and Stranger Gamer. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. Engineer, Engineer Gaming is going to be a tough opponent. Tough opponent. Real good opponent. But I am pretty confident after that win that I can end his winning streak. So, yep, yeah, that's round two for Group A concluded. So I hope you enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And stay tuned for next time where we will do round two for Group B. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.